Now we are meditating Genesis from Genesis second chapter first and second verses. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed and all their hosts. And by the seventh day God completed his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. See he created heavens and earth and every host on the earth and everything he created in six days on seventh day God rested on seventh day God completed his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done what he had done in six days uh, already completed on seventh day he he rested on the seventh day to rest on the seventh day he blessed and rest took rest completed the work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done everything he created in six days god this detail we will see deuteronomy 419 Deuteronomy 4.19 And beware lest you lift up your eyes to heaven and see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, and be drawn away and worship them and serve them, those which the Lord your God has alerted to all the peoples under the whole heaven. God created everything for humans under the sun, sun and moon and stars, everything God created for human beings. Yes or no? He created everything every uh, host uh, on the heaven and we should not worship those we should not see and we should not draw our hearts to those hosts of heaven sun moon we should not worship them we should not worship them we should we should not draw them draw to them we should not worship we should not care we should not we should we should always when we see the sun and moon and stars and everything hosts of heaven when we see that these all things God created for us, we should worship God, not these all things. We should not worship sun, moon, stars and everything. We should worship God. Be, beware about that God. At that time only he told, now people doing that only. People does the worship to, worship the hosts of heaven, sun. They worship sun and they worship moon and they worship stars and everything. But we should not worship and we should not care about them. But we should, we should, when we see those creation of God, we should praise God and we should worship God and we should thankful to God. It's very important thing and 17.3. Uh, And has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, or uh, the sun, or the moon, or any of the heavenly host, which I have not commanded. That's not uh, God's coming. We should not worship those all things. We should not worship them. Is that no? We should heavenly host. We should not worship heavenly host. Those uh, stars, sun, and moon should not worship them. God commanded that thing. He didn't command to worship them. We, sh we should worship God. Always we should worship who created, who created those all things, hosts of heavenly hosts, hosts of heaven, who created God, created those all things in six days. Everything under this, we should not worship trees, we should not worship uh, some creatures, uh, some snakes like that. We should not worship creation. but. Who created these all things and this creation? We should worship God. He created in six days these all things and he rested on seventh day. He blessed and rested on seventh day. But see our Exodus 28, 11. 28 and 11. Remember the Sabbath day 
to keep it holy six days you shall labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord your god in it you in it you shall not do any work you are your son or your daughter your male or your female servant or your cattle or your a sojourner who stays with you but in six days the lord made the heavens and the earth the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day therefore the lord blessed the sabbath day and made it holy see here lord blessed the sabbath day and made it holy god worked worked in six days and created everything heavens and earth and seas and uh, sun and moon and everything god created in 6 days he worked in 6 days and he blessed and he rested in 7th day see that's why we should follow this command we should be um make it holy sabbath day 6 days you labor and in on 7th day should not do any work you are your daughter or your son or your servant Uh, nowadays these all things not but we should be with god we should not do our own works whatever we wish every day and six days will do our works and uh, whatever we want we will do but on seventh day we we must be ho- holy uh, we must be holy that seventh day means uh, uh, with god only we should not do any other works and unnecessary works we should uh, still we should follow that our saturday as a, a sunday this this is but one day six days you can labor but on seventh day we must uh, we should see this uh, sunday is the first day you no know? according to that uh, seventh day or sabbath day means saturday only that's about the day but some follows that sunday but uh, this is not question one day you must uh, that is up to god we are now will not we can't be judged i should not judge but one day six days you must do your work but on seventh day you must be with god be with god you should follow his command and um, do that 3117 exodus It is a sign between me and the sons of Israel for her for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth but on the seventh day she is from labor and was refreshed on seventh day God took rest yes or no he completed his work in six days on seventh day that's why he blessed on sabbath day and he rested on seventh day that's why that is the one what is that it is the sign sign between us sign between god and us israel it means uh, through that uh, the blood of lord jesus christ we also israel it's only na no? yes we also our father is abraham Three, four, four, ten. For he has thus said somewhere concerning the seventh day, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. for he has the said somewhere concerning the seventh day and god rested on the seventh day from all his works and here 11 10th verses for the one who entered his rest has himself also rested from his works as god did from his see this rest means this after our uh, um, we completed work on the earth will enter into the rest of god yes or no that's why always uh, 
rest in peace rest in peace will tell no god shown me to those spirits who already who died my mother and my uncle and uh, uh, these are um, auntie and some these all uh, those spirits god shown to me some were and some are in rest and some are in restless and some are in danger very danger in that fire and some some were rested like that god shown those spirits that's why if we want to enter into the rest means uh, we should be follow everything what come god commanded us we should follow those things we also uh, we must be holy that is seventh day yes with god only we should not do our own works and everything and the our um, concentration or goal is we should be in the rest eternal rest no through jesus christ it will it will happen no with always will be with jesus christ especially we should not do our own works on seventh day whatever we wish or whatever we want we should not do those works yes or no we also on seventh day we should also uh, um Uh, as well as we also can take rest on the seventh day is it sunday or saturday whatever uh, i should not be judged but one day after six days god worked for us everything he created under the sun and heavenly hosts and everything for human beings for us and seventh day uh, took rest no he rested on the seventh day we also we should all, we should follow that rest day and we should always our goal is our eternal rest yes or no we should follow these things praise lord godness